Craig and I'm here with Anna Twiney today and her horse Excalibur. And uh, Anna, I just met at the Horse Expo here at Denver and a new friendship and all. And we were discussing about what to do for Excalibur to put him on the trail, keep him comfortable in whatever terrain that they decide to ride and get into, they can handle. And so that's what we're doing here today. And I'm gonna be fitting him with a pair of gloves, which is a Nike of boots and all. I'm really excited to have him here with Excalibur. Um, X is a little sensitive on his feet when we take him out. Um, really more on the rocks than anything and Dan, ha Dan has the miraculous cure for that. And so you're going to watch it. I'm not going to even give it away. He's going to tell you exactly what's going to happen, how this is working for Excalibur and then you guys can see it. It's the way forward. It really is. Uh, we're into the barefoot, not into the shoes and this means that X can live as naturally as possible. But when we go out on the trails, on these happy trails, he's gonna be comfortable. So check this out, stay with us, and watch what Dan's going to be doing. And we're going to look at his foot. The foot's been trimmed. And uh, we'll just clean it up a little and talk to you about uh, the trim for a barefoot horse that we're fitting up with boots. Uh, the boots have to, they're come out of a mold, and so we have to pay some attention to that. All right. On a foot that's trimmed for these boots, you want them to not have any long toes on them, high heels, or flares in the quarters. That's all going to affect the, the fit of the boot. So here we've got a, tr a, a trimmed foot, and this is ready for uh, measuring and fitting up for our boots. So first thing we'll do is measure this foot and go to our charts and see uh, what he wears. Everything's measured in millimeters. So we're going to measure the width of this foot here, the widest part of the foot. Then we're going to measure from the toe back to the heels and get that measurement in millimeters. And then I'm going to go to my chart and uh, they've made a very nice chart for you too uh, with all the different uh, boots on it. and. The different measurements for the different sizes they're all here on one chart and instruction on how to measure it and that's for somebody that doesn't have a professional um, barefoot trimmer boot fitter on hand so on my chart I find uh, the the easy boot uh, bear and I find what we just measured with him we're right at a um, one and a half size in the glove boot for um, Excalibur here. So I'm going to start with uh, a size two and then go to a one and a half and then probably a one, just go through the sizes because that's typical of how we fit these horses, these glove boots measured for a one and a half. We're gonna start with a two is my normal process and then see where, how that fits and then go to uh, a one and a half and uh, see how that fits. So here we go. This is a number two. And uh, as a distributor, I carry all the fit kit with me. Now, observe, this is on the foot and see how it's turning? Okay, this is too large. So there's a too large fit right there. It's turning on the foot when it's on the foot completely. All right, so we say that doesn't work, that's too large. So let's get the one and a half which is what he measured for, and uh, slip that on. Okay, there's the one and a half, went right on, and it's nice and snug. It doesn't turn, that's the key. Once it's on, on completely tight, then try to turn it and see if it turns on the foot. It doesn't, that should be what we want. Observe that I'm putting this leg between my knees so that I'm not cranking on all of these joints. I'm being respectful and careful with his joints because it hurts to get something just twisted, like you just go twisting hard on it. So I support that and I'm gentle. So I'm gonna drop that and it looks like we have a good fit. One, one thing we look for, and I'll show you this here, is this groove right here 
it will be spread like that and that's when the boot is fit properly and stretch just a little and you've got a good snug fit now if your boot is not and these are this this slit here is isn't pulled at all then you probably have too large a boot on this horse so this is this is the boot that I'd recommend for um, Excalibur and that's a one and a half so this is my fit kit and uh, so now I will actually pull out out of the truck my boots for it to fit him the one and a half with the gaiters on and um, so here we go so here we have uh, a good sample of the boots that are on the market today and these are all uh, boots that you can get from Easy Care Company and uh, I'd like to start with the most popular boot and the one I use more than any of them is this um, Epic the Easy Boot Epic right here and it has the buckle uh, buckle down with your uh, gaiter around the pasture in here and uh, this is the apparatus that actually holds it on right here this gaiter and um, this is used very versatile boot because I use this for uh, not only my riding horses I can put a pad in the bottom of it and I can use it for um, my navicular foundered horses uh, any horse that has a, a foot problem one that's been trimmed too short many different reasons okay here's some of the other boots here uh, this is um, an easy boot uh, bear here and um, again it has the um, have the gaiter and it has a, a, a tensioner here on the front and so to put this boot on it's a little more difficult to put on because you have to pull it pull it down and, and uh, get some slack and then shove it over the foot and this is something that uh, has some popularity amongst the, the um, folks that are riding endurance Here's the edge. Uh, this again has a tensioner across the front here that you can tighten down with a, with a screwdriver. And again, it has the gaiter. This is another a popular boot. And then here's a couple of other boots that, these are for the wider feet. Now if you have a, a wide uh, foot, short and wide, then this is one of the um, boots that you would consider the old Mac. And another one of the boots is the boa. This is again for a short, uh, wider foot here. And it has a uh, mechanism. You just screw this down and... Uh, so it's just a matter of this screwing this down and it tightens the cables. And that's a real uh, convenient uh, to put on uh, the ladies like this a lot because they just slip it on where and there's plenty of room to slip it on Then you just tighten that down. You're done. So this is a, a popular brand also and this is uh, the, the easy soaker here and this is for our uh, Horses that uh, we have abscesses. We have problems with the feet uh, foundered horses uh, This is the pad that uh, we would use in this boot. Uh, it's the easy care pad and uh, it would give that cushion and support on the entire bottom of the foot and so we would use it in something like a soaker with a sore foot we would use it in any of these boots right here the epic being the, um, the most popular again uh, for my founder navicular um, would be uh, definitely something I would put a pad in and use this boot and I have one more boot here okay this this is what we call an RX boot and that easy care makes and this boot you just open up the velcro you slip the foot down in it and then just velcro it back and this is our hospital boot uh, for really lame horses that uh, the boots not designed for them going out and riding them or even uh, being loose and running they're more uh, within a confined area and uh, a horse that's quite lame and that's what this boot was designed for so that's our boots that we use all right here's my uh, one and a half glove it has the gator on it and that's the apparatus that actually holds them on 
and uh, so we're ready to put his new boots on and see how he likes it. Here's our glove with a gator. Okay, that slipped on really nicely. And I bump it with my fist just to make sure that that heals down. When you first put a boot on a horse, he doesn't know what's happened to him. And he's going to be concerned about that. So that's just normal. Don't worry about it. We just go ahead and get it on. There we go. So I'm going to... I'm going to do my gator, and I'm going to do it snug, but not really tight. I don't want to put a lot of pressure on his pasture in here. I just want to snug this up to where he can't, it won't, the boot won't come off. And so I can just get my finger in here, and it's good and snug when I push can my I finger him? in there. Dan, can I walk him? Uh, I'm going to put uh, the other boot okay. on, and we'll see the boot walk. And so we always clean our feet very good, and also we wire brush them uh, to get all the manure and everything out of the bottom of the foot all right again i just want that tight enough where i can barely get where i can get that finger in there and it's really tight at that point okay now we're going to see probably a boot walk let's see him straight out and straight back Okay, buddy, how's that? What do you think? A little bit. Yeah. Not much. He, he figured it out real quick. Never it's, had boots on. Yeah. Ever. So, it, I mean, it's very quick for him. Expect nothing. Ah. Look at that. For new shoes. Mustang. He was born and raised in Oshoto, Wyoming at the Spanish Mustang Registry. Four and a half thousand acres with his family. Since then, he's come home with me since he's nine months old. He's now rising five and he's really had the idyllic upbringing where he's lived out in nature. He's got his own herd as his family. He's got running water and several acres that he lives on. I've really done everything right as far as I can see for the upbringing and he's exceedingly gentle and wonderful. Never had shoes on in his life and yet even though he's had this upbringing and he is a Mustang, he's very sensitive to the little stones and that's what surprised me actually. I thought he'd be perfect without it and go barefoot um, but he's proven that he's sensitive and hence I brought Dan in and so he's going to tell you why <laughs> and why it is idyllic and yet we still need these this little bit of help along the way. Yeah, so it's been an ideal situation. Uh, Excalibur, if a horse could go barefoot and be okay on these rocks with yeah. his pasturing and all, it would be him for sure. He has good feet, he has the Mustang feet and all. But what we have here is a domesticated horse. And so once we domesticate our horses, they their footing doesn't challenge them like they're roaming uh, 16 to 20 hours a day over rough rocks is a typical Mustang uh, scenario and they don't he has a pasture uh, grass pasture pretty cushy so he doesn't get a chance to develop those calluses on the bottom of his feet just simply because he doesn't get to challenge them every day and so ie comes the boot along and so you can uh, take your, your horse uh, in from any scenario, put these boots on and go ride them in rough country. And so uh, Anna's a very busy young lady these days and doesn't get the chance to ride their horse five, 
five times a, a week. And so, therefore, we don't really have the feet. We really need to go to the Rocky Mountains on rough trails so that we have our boots. And this is a, a, a good uh, solution for all of our horses that are in his situation. It's idyllic. So I'm going to say happy trails because for me and Excalibur, it opens up a whole new world.